It was during the summer of 2015. Me and my father were out and about pretty much all morning doing multiple things together. We were on our way to McDonald's and he asked, Wanna go to GameStop for a new game? My 9 year old self of course said yes to that after we ate McDonald's together. After McDonald's, we went to GameStop for a new game. When looking through the Wii section, I found Smash Brothers Brawl. When I saw Mario, Link, Kirby, Pikachu, Princess Peach, and Meta Knight all in one game, I immediately wanted to try the game, so I got Smash Brothers Brawl. When we were in the car to go home, I was expecting this to be a crossover platformer excited to kill Bowser as Kirby or King DDD. When we got home, I locked my room to jerk I meant show my mother the game I got, then turned on my Wii in my room so I could take my Mario Galaxy 2 disc, aka base game, out to put my Smash Brothers copy inside the Wii. Seeing the first section of the intro is so epic, seeing multiple characters that I recognized and some I didn't like Mr. Game & Watch stare into the light. I immediately went to Solo to be introduced to Subspace Emissary. I immediately fell in love with the game. I continued to grind the story mode until I got to the huge maze with all the characters. I think it was called like the Great Maze. I took a peek at the group mode to find out real Smash Brothers, which made me love the game more. I'd constantly play the multiplayer mode with bots when getting tired of the maze. I loved Smash Bros so much that I play every day for the rest of the summer. My love for Smash Bros fell in September due to my hype for Mario Maker and wanting to own a Wii U, which is exactly what I got on Christmas of that year. In March of 2016, I found out that there was a Smash Bros for Wii U, which brought my hype back up for Smash Bros. I wanted the game but couldn't afford it, so I watched a lot of Smash 4 related videos on YouTube until May 2016. I went to GameStop again, but this time with my grandma, as you probably guessed. I found Smash 4 and got the game immediately. Like Brawl, I was excited to play whatever the game had to offer. When I got home, I immediately went on my Wii U to remove my Mario Maker disc and put my Smash 4 disc in. I loved the game just as much as Brawl at the time. Basically, for the rest of 2016, I played Mario Maker, Smash 4, and Minecraft. Smash Bros. once again slowed down in 2017 and 2018 due to a Clash of Clans phase with IRLs back in my elementary school. So, about Smash Ultimate. Yeah, I was aware that the game was a thing, but I was not really excited since I didn't have a Switch at the time. Until... No. Shut up. Shut the fuckity fuck up with this old shitty shitter joke, mate. Until Plain Rock uploaded this video. This made me realize how exciting Smash Ultimate really was. Nothing new happened until a year later on December 25th, 2019, when I got a Switch with Smash Ultimate. I immediately started Ultimate with World of Light, finishing the mode within three days. I got Switch Online not too long after, so I was able to play Quick Play. I didn't play the game a lot, lot, but I did enjoy the game and glad I was able to actually play it. That was about to change in March of 2020, when we were in a global lockdown. I don't know if this date is 100% correct, but on March 17, 2020, I was recommended a VG Bootcamp video. At the time, I didn't know Competitive Smash exists, so I watched it. Knowing that I currently have 1,600 hours on Smash as of making this video, y'all could probably predict the future. Yep. I fell in love with Competitive Smash and joined a friend group two weeks later which was dedicated to Smash Bros. We are grinding Smash for the next six -ish months, all day, every day basically, since it was a global lockdown. In September, I was starting to realize a burnout, but I loved Smash so much that I continued to play, like an addiction. This was killing my mental health so much, in an unhealthy way. In February of 2021, I quit Smash Bros for now since I was starting to realize the addiction. I wanted to play Smash Bros so bad but didn't for the sake of my mental health. Thankfully, on April of 2021, the addiction was mostly gone since my mind was stuck to speedrunning. Which I still do today, I love speedrunning and it's not an addiction at all because I actually control my mental health pretty alright. So basically, that's my whole Smash Bros journey. I still do play Smash Bros sometimes, but they're always for fun with either that friend group, which I don't talk to a lot anymore, or my speedrun friends. I'm glad I found out what Smash Bros is today because it taught me a lesson about addictions and overall keeping a sane mental health. Luckily, it was during lockdown, so it didn't drastically change my life. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like and subscribe for more storytime videos in the future. Peace.